So hi and welcome to another Tech Tuesday. As you know, I need to take a look at gaming peripherals, but today we're going to take a look at the MSI Armor 1070 GPU here and the mining hash and power kind of what you're expecting to get. We're going to run through about five profiles and show you the kind of standard ones that you would use. Main power kind of consumption is and what settings I'm using to get around 32 hash with a really low power output. Um, if you want to check out how I built this rig and what it's running on, check out the video above and I'll show you that and all the specs that it's running on. I've done a video also on the 1060. I'll put that in the link in the description. So I'm still working on those settings. A few people are giving some ideas what could change. Feel free to do the same in this video and let's go forward from here. So at the moment, this is running at 39 watts. There is no load on it at the moment, as you can see. We're going to run up the miner. I'm using the Ether Miner 11 here. I'm using CUDA as the flag here, so dash U. I'll show you what the voltages are. So let's look at the first one. So we're getting about 25 to 25 and a half mega hash here. Power's on 100%, it's drawing 155 watts. The CPU's on zero and the memory's on zero. There's no clock here at the minute. So let's overclock it and let's check the first setting. Okay, so we've applied the first clock here and that is a plus 400 on the memory, a plus 100 on the clock and a 80% power consumption. Pulling 166 watts and the hash is around 28, 28 and a half. So we've got a decent increase there for a relatively low clock. This is the Samsung memory MSI here, as you can see in this GPU Z. So, pretty good memory, one of the better ones to clock. You're getting a decent rate here, it's quite safe. I've picked 100 megahertz here, and I'm going to do this throughout all of them. 100 to 150 seems to be the better kind of rate here that you can get. It seems to be like, you know, people say not to overclock the core, but I find you get a little bit more hash if you do plus 100 here instead of minus 400 or to 150, depending on we can get it stable. It sometimes is worth it for the power gain. So, let's try the next one. So, this one again, I've put the only difference here is I've put the memory clock to 600 instead of 400 and you can see we're at 29 29 and a half mega hash here drawing 172 watts so again not a little bit not a bad increase here a little bit more with another mega hash here for your plus 200 memory clock it's a nice little addition here for with a few more watts to be fair so onto the third one here and i push the memory clock again only up to 800 and again we're making a decent rate here and up to 31 31 and a half mega hash so again a good jump there for the extra 200 Pulling 178 watts here, so not a bad increase there to be fair. So I'm going to push it up just again here next, and then I'll show you the profile that I'm using that's getting 32 hash and it's getting really good power. So here we are on the last one here. This is it maxed out on the memory here with a thousand. This is by the maximum I'd want to push it, and even then I'm not sure I want to leave it at this because it's quite intense, although it's quite stable. This MSI, it's getting around 32 mega hash, although it's slightly dropped there to 31. Ironically, just I'm trying to show you this, um, it's pulling 184 watts um, at 80%. But like I say, this is definitely pushing the limits. Sometimes it might not run as stable as I wanted it to at this rate. So let's show you what I'm running it at and what the power draw is and what I think at the moment the best settings are that I can find. But feel free to let me know. Okay, so here we are on my settings that I've been using with this MSI. I'm finding really good. It's pulling only 136 watts because the power's at 50%. I've got a clock at 150 and I'm running the memory at 950. I've tried it at 1000, it won't stay stable. And I'm getting around 32 hash here. Pretty good in my opinion, but feel free to let me know in the comments if not. So, hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know um, if you want me to show you any more. I'm going to try some more GPUs. Let me know what brands to use. I'm going to use an EVGA for the Win 2 1070 and see if we can get a similar clock. Check out my 1061 and I'll catch you again later.